Why did the chicken cross the road? something. Well, this weekend is my 65th birthday weekend. And this is quite a treat to start it off with. I was 12 years old when this car was made. And this car is the stuff of Every schoolboy's dreams, really. A Shelby Mustang. An absolutely awesome supercar. Wow, that is. Whoa! What a car. And what a nice 65th birthday present to myself to take this out. All in the line of work. Well, it's really rather a shame to have to take this back. Next week's going to be my 68th birthday and I have another treat in store for myself. I never expected that I would ever get to drive two different Shelby Mustangs, but here we are. This beautiful light green metallic car. Now, why is the engine switched off? Well, if I wanted to do a nice piece to camera with great sound and a lovely quiet ambience, I'd have brought you out in a Bentley Turbo R, perhaps a Rolls Royce of some kind. But no, today it's going to be a Mustang, and that's a whole other experience. If you can still hear me, I'll speak to you later. In fact, this is exactly where I was on my 65th birthday when I took the first one out. And that was only a 350. So that was, that was slow compared to this. Oh boy. I've been in the classic car business for, well, since 1991 and actually an owner of classic cars myself since 1978 and if someone was asking me how would you describe a Ford Mustang GT500 in two words I'll tell you what they would be hooligans car fancied a big 1200cc BMW motorcycle but I'm not a very experienced motorcyclist. What I did was I bought a very heavy but low powered Honda and had six months of experience handling the weight before I bought the high performance machine and there's a lesson there for having something like this. In the wrong hands it's a monster. You need experience. The condition of this car is absolutely stunning. It's a comprehensive restoration and from a cosmetic point of view it's absolutely beautiful everywhere you look. The standard of the paint finish, the chrome, the interior of the car, retrimmed as it is, is absolutely fantastic. One of the things that's difficult to convey in a video is the detail and it's in the detail of, of this car that it just represents itself as being so splendid. It's a high quality paint job that's been done with a, with a deep luster. In terms of the sort of overall appearance of it, this is pretty much what one of these things would have looked like in a showroom, perhaps as a 12 month old car for sale.
the detail on the interior of this car is just so special. I love the little Cobra embossed into the top of this armrest here. But as you look around the car from the quality of the instrument binnacle, the chrome around the dials, the finish of this wood rim steering wheel, everywhere you look, it's absolutely beautiful. Clearly it's been retrimmed, but it's all been done with the right materials and to a very high standard indeed. Over here on the left hand side, you've got your fuel gauge. Obviously being an American car, it says gasoline. You've got a clock here. You've got a temperature gauge over here. Your all important rev counter, which red lines at 6,000 RPM. You've got a 140 mile an hour speedo. You've got an oil pressure gauge sitting there in the uh, forward part of the center console. And to the right of it, your charge rate. There's an alternator gauge. I like every part of the detail of this. It's been properly done. The correct standard of carpets, even the carpet mats embossed with the word Cobra. It's absolutely beautiful. And the headlining, uh, which is a sort of uh, vinyl material, again, clearly replaced. Everything you see has been restored to the highest possible standard. The 68 GT500 was originally fitted with the signature 4 to 8 cubic inch police interceptor V8 upon its release as well as a special aluminium intake manifold. That engine was rated at 335 horsepower. The police interceptor equipped Shelby GT500s were capable of doing a quarter mile in 14.97 seconds at 99.6 miles an hour. Incredible really. So at this sort of engine size, we're up to seven liters. So it's an awesome muscle car, a classic American muscle car with a huge uh, understressed V8 engine. Now I mentioned in the video, this is my birthday week. This is also a special year for Shelby fans because it's the 100th anniversary of the birth of Carol Shelby.